So, hi there. So we are MXC. So we are a project based in Berlin, Germany. So we are doing Internet of Things. So, and uh, we are going to build on top of uh, Polkadot. So let me introduce you our projects. So what's uh, the biggest challenge right now for the whole blockchain industry? So we see that uh, talented people and projects like uh, Polkadot and Chainsafe and talented people are trying to solve a lot of problems in the current industry, like the consensus and TPS, something like that. So, but the bridge between the real world and the blockchain is still missing. So this is something that we are trying to use our technology, use our real world IoT protocol to solve the real world problem in smart city, agriculture, et cetera, et cetera. So that's why we bring this MX protocol to the public. And uh, what we are going to do is, first of all, we're going to try to help people to build a decentralized IoT network Right now, we all know that uh, SK, SK Telecom in Korea has already built a IoT network themselves using a LP LPVAN, Low Power Wide Area Network. So this kind of network is running on a decentralized uh, free license band, which means that you and me and everyone can run the IoT network in this free license band, which means that yeah, there is a consensus needed. But like uh, SK Telecom has already launched this network, so everyone can also launch this kind of network. So we are also going to help uh, companies also to, to launch the network in this license, free license band. Also, uh, secondly, we are going to uh, build a data exchanges, interchain data exchange uh, on the Polkadot to enable the cross-chain data communication between different IoT sensors. And lastly, we're going to tokenize this free license band. So free license band, free license band everybody knows that uh, Wi-Fi is also running on a free license band. But we're not going to do another Wi-Fi, we're going to do a LP van, a decentralized uh, 20 kilometers, low power wide array network, powered by uh, our MX protocol. So, what we are essentially doing is we put uh, real IoT these things into the blockchain world. So we, we use blockchain as a tool to bridge the gap between blockchain and the real world applications, like the uh, garbage bin collection and the uh, smart, uh, smart parking, something like that, using blockchain and put this kind of sensor, this kind of small chip I have something to show you guys. It's a, we have this kind of already on the market products that can cover 20 kilometers. We have this kind of uh, chip inside of, uh, a key store chip inside of this kind of gateway that can uh, enable this kind of things, a identity, an address on the blockchain. And uh, easily a city like uh, Seoul can be easily covered by one, uh, 20 of this kind of thing. We just use one of this to cover the whole Berlin. And once you cover the whole Berlin, you can tokenize the uh, IoT network uh, within your coverage. And uh, yeah, so uh, to summarize the three things that we're currently building. So let me start from the first. So we put a chip inside of this kind of IoT free licensed band network devices to let them to communicate with each other within 20 kilometers coverage. And the power battery life is as long as 10 years long. And with this kind of communication, machines can talk to each other. And machines can also pay each other. So once they pay each other, so we have uh, uh, consensus between these uh, kind of devices. And secondly, we're going to build an uh, interchain data market on the top of uh, Polkadot because uh, Polkadot has already solved the problem that how to make the cross-chain communication work. So we're just building a, uh, another top layer that to enable maybe we have a, the app on the EOS that is going to display the uh, air quality in Seoul. But the, but the data is in our sensors that uh, someone else 
put it in this kind of uh, gateway that uh, could receive this kind of uh, air quality in Seoul. So how to how to let the DOSD app to display this kind of thing and uh, buy the and purchase this kind of data automatically from MXC. This is something that we can use Polkadot and to, to build on the top of that. So we will uh, essentially will build a global IoT platform with the real world tangible sensors and gateways to let everyone to purely benefit from this kind of network. So the last part we build is uh, uh, tokenize of a free license band. Like I said, so with this kind of uh, LP van gateway, just 300 euros, something like that. So you can cover a wide range of the place, like 20 kilometers. So in cities, maybe 10 or uh, five kilometers. And you can tokenize the bandwidth here. So what does this mean? So right now it's like 3G, 4G bandwidth are centrally auctioned by the government. Let's say one megabyte worth uh, trillion dollars, and they charge you and me like one one megabyte, one euro, something like that. With this kind of decentralized network, everybody can cover the whole city and make profit from this kind of uh, network tokenization, and the machines, the sensors will bid for the uplink and downlink prices. So let's say one megabyte uplink, one MXC, something like that. It's a machine consensus that is built up uh, on top of our MX protocol. So people have uh, motivation to deploy this kind of network in Seoul, in Berlin, in New York, in uh, Tokyo. So essentially, we will build the uh, largest global IoT network thanks to this free license band uh, LPVAN network. So I have a, a short uh, one minute video to explain this idea. Oh, sorry, maybe the so, uh, sound didn't work, so never mind. The sound didn't work. Yeah, maybe let's skip it. So this will be a global IoT network that's uh, only for machines, for these small devices. So we are uh, we are not a very really, uh, young pro uh, project. We have been in this market for like three years already. So we accumulated a lot of customers already, and uh, we have a lot of partners all over the world. Like in Shanghai, we got a deal with the government to, to, to collect the garbage bins and let them to share the data from the garbage bins. And in Korea, we, uh, we also have a uh, partner called NLink that are doing smart, uh, smart lightning in Suwon City. And in Japan, we also have some customers that put this kind of sensors on the heels to do the disaster prevention when there is uh, like a rain or there, there is a flood, so they can immediately, Im immediately alert the government that there is a flood or there is a rain, something like that. So, uh, and uh, since we are based in Berlin, Germany, so we are also helping the Deutsche Bahn, so German railway, to manage their railway stations with uh, this kind of decentralized, free licensed uh, devices. So they can just simply use one of this kind of thing to cover the whole railway station and they can manage all the small devices inside of this kind of thing without relying on the, uh, without relying on the telecom infrastructure. So they are quite, quite independent from the uh, monopoly of the telecoms. So they can build their own network. They are truly decentralized LP1 network thanks to MXC technology. So, and uh, we are quite a multinational team and we are based in Berlin, and we have uh, uh, advisors from US, China, and uh, Germany. And uh, yeah, so here's my Twitter. So also here's uh, our uh, website. So maybe you can check more about uh, our projects. Uh, we are open for more uh, real world applications using Polkadot technology and using blockchain. Thanks. <laughs> so is there any questions? Yeah. 
So because it's a, it's a free license band, it's not like a Wi-Fi or 3G, 4G for the short range, it's a long range. So the data rate is really small, like maximum 50 bytes. Uh, yes, yeah, so for Sigfox is uh, something uh, centralized. Means that uh, only one company, Sigfox, can deploy the network and sell the network uplink and downlink to people. So what we do is uh, based on LoRa, is uh, decentralized technology, open source, decentralized technology that everybody can deploy. So, um, so actually, it's uh, perfect for the applications that don't need huge band, uh, large bandwidth. Yeah. So this this protocol is. Uh, open source. What we are also building is open source. Yeah. It's a narrow band, so narrow band. Yeah, we uh, actually this is made by our first company called MatchX. So you can search MatchX and you can buy this for like Tokyo for Seoul and for Australia, for EU, for US. And yeah, we are selling it everywhere around the world already. Yeah. So uh, actually, with uh, this kind of devices, it's connected uh, to the internet backbone through Ethernet. There is an Ethernet port here. So in some cases, let's imagine you are in an island that you want to watch some warehouses in a place that you completely have no internet. So this kind of thing can also run. It can host the database here to, to collect the data. And uh, yeah. Through a uh, uh, technology called LPVAN, low power wide array network, it's a radio, radio technology. Yeah, you need a sensor. Yeah, you need a sensor to connect to this. It's like 20 kilometers away, you can connect like a bike to this, yeah. Uh, actually, right now, uh, in currently in 2019, on the market, you can buy um, a variety of the sensors like garbage bin, uh, fridge, and door, like uh, uh, and uh, bike lock, something like that, with this kind of technology, yeah, yeah, built in, and uh, we are we are supporting this. We are supporting this kind of already on the market products. So we are not like limited to only uh, from our company, but but we are also have to pay attention to that. Is this is all the on the market products? They don't have the uh, key store. They don't have the uh, secure place to store the private key inside of this kind of thing. So which means that I can steal your this kind of devices and mimic and duplicate another one if you don't have a key store to put the private key inside of this kind of thing, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, this is also a very good point. So we're also going to announce that we are going to make an open source uh, chip, blockchain uh, LP van chip with the second largest Bitcoin miner designer called Canon. So they have the, that ain't, uh, that Avalon uh, miner that's already on the market everywhere. So they are going to d design an open source L uh, blockchain and uh, LP van chip with us. Yeah, so we are going to improve the security and lower the prices of this LoRa thing, yeah. Cool, so if there is no more questions, so, so there will be a break. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>